what up people i'm rafid and i'm back again with part two of sky lake build for hackintosh make sure you watch part one first so that you're not lost so in this part two i'm going to show you basically everything like powering on the pc installing os x l captain 10.11.4 and some benchmark with Cinebench and Geekbench. So that means this is going to be my final video about this PC. Because at the time of uploading this video, the PC is already shipped to the person. But I forgot to record some footage when I was assembling the PC because, you know, I'm kind of dumb and I forgot. Anyways, let's get back on the topic. As you can see, I've installed my DTX Titan on this PC. Because remember, I said this on part 2 that I might buy any key card that will get the job done. But I got to know that the user of this PC has a graphics card. So all I have to do is just install the OS for him and then he can just install his graphics card and run the PC. So that's why I'm just using my Titan to install the OS. But man, I never got this excited just powering on a PC because this motherboard is really different than what I've seen before in person. The thing that amazes me the most about this motherboard is the lighting. It just looks so damn good. Now moving on, installing the Mac was, I mean the Mac OS was pain in the ass. I have said this on part one, that installing Mac on, again Mac OS, okay. Mac OS on Skylake is going to be hard for me. Uh, this is my first time installing Mac OS with the Skyling Pro oh. You know I, I never really said this I'm not used to saying Mac OS OS and stuff like that because I'm a Windows guy blah, blah blah So that's why I'm confused What should I say Mac or OS? Mac. You know I'll just go with Mac okay? I don't care what you think Haha <laughs> Anyways But After some errors and some crafts I was able to Successfully install Mac Um yeah, it's, oh my god, this word is really messing up my mind. Anyways, now as you can see, it's, the Mac is being installed. I mean the Mac OS, oh my god, what's wrong with me? I'll come back after the installation is done. <laughs> Alright, so as I said, I installed it was successfully. I didn't have any problem other than that one problem. So now, as you can see, I'm in the what do you call it? Desktop, I guess. In the desktop of the PC. But as you can see, it's not showing the exact name of the GPU. That's because I haven't installed the graphics driver yet but later on i did install the driver now i didn't have enough time to do gaming benchmarks so i just did some cpu benchmark using cinebench so after i'm done with this thing i want to show you the benchmark with cinebench So as you can see at the moment, I'm using Cinebench R15 to, to do some benchmark for the CPU to see how well the CPU is. And as you can see, I get a score of 881. That means the 6700K is par with the i7-4790K. Pretty, pretty impressive not bad not bad you know I also did benchmark with Geekbench uh, why not you know <laughs> and as you can see for single core it got 
4680 and for multi-core it got an amazing score of 18,239 and that's about it thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe for more so until then peace